I think the computer science industry needs more female leaders because there's so many problems that technologists are trying to solve that affect women. Right now, 85% of all consumers are female. And when many of these technology teams don't reflect the workforce of America, they're simply not gonna solve the problems that they're so keen on making a difference on. I also believe that there's something inherent about young women that they wanna change the world. They're compassionate, they're empathetic. You know, maybe they've been bullied at school or their brother's dyslexic, or they went to Nigeria and saw that women don't have access to water. They walked past somebody on 14th Street and saw that they're homeless. When they see these social problems, they want to do something about it. And when they know how to code, they'll use technology to help solve those problems. I think that if we want to find a cure to cancer, we have to teach girls to code. If we want to do something about climate change, we have to teach girls to code. If we want to solve homelessness in our city and in our country, teach girls to code. They're change makers, and they're going to make our world and our country so much better. I want to make computer science more accessible to girls because there are so many jobs open right now in computing and technology. There's about 500,000 open jobs. But last year, only 7,000 young women graduated in computer science at a time where 45% of America's breadwinners are women. And then when we don't have women as part of our innovation economy, we just miss out as a nation. And so I've made it my life's mission to make sure that young women across the world, across the, this country, learn how to computer program and how to sh have a shot at those 21st century jobs. Because I believe that when they do, they'll be able to march up into the middle class.